name is Alyssa Hershey and I teach French horn and beginning trumpet at REW Music. So the best thing about teaching music is seeing how excited kids get about it. Um, I love it when my students get really into the pieces that they're working on, um, when they're really excited about what they're playing and also the instrument that they're playing, um, especially when it's like a, a fun piece that maybe they don't get to play as much in band or something like that. Um, like right now I'm working on um, some like Frozen and Harry Potter with some of my students and that's just, it's just a lot of fun uh, to see them being excited about the material and then transferring that excitement to maybe some more classical pieces as well. It's the best. I make lessons fun um, by really getting the kids to engage with what we're learning and what we're working on. Um, so one time one of my students was um, learning about some theory and she was learning about half steps and whole steps. So um, I actually had her get up and we took some whole and half steps <laughs> to understand um, the concepts of that and to just really engage. I think um, getting kids to move with what they're doing is really important um, because once you get it in your body, I feel like it's much easier to transfer it to your head and then into your instrument. Um, I also just think it's a lot of fun to have kids um, maybe do some improvising, um, make things their own, have them take agency over what they're playing. Um, I think ultimately when I do lessons, uh, that's the most fun part for me and for them as well. I fell in love with the French horn because I just thought it was so unique. <laughs> it was so different from all of the other brass instruments. Um, and ultimately when I was, you know, in, in fifth grade picking my instrument, I, I couldn't have told you that, but I just saw something different with it. And I connected with it and I thought it had the most beautiful tone ever. And um, I just said, I want to play this instrument and I really didn't want to play anything else. <laughs> um, so I have played other things later, but I, I love the French horn. I love all of the quirkiness that comes with it, you know, how you can play pretty much any note with any valve. Um, I love all of the fun things that you can do to make it unique. So some common pitfalls with the uh, KMEA French horn excerpts. Um, I think one of the main things is keeping steady on the fast portion. Um, it's really easy to kind of get ahead of yourself or lag or maybe pause here with a couple of notes, but I think keeping steady is really going to be helpful to um, you who's playing it uh, in not making mistakes, but also just keeping that excitement up, that driving um, kind of force behind it. Um, also paying really close attention to all of the articulations. So there's some really interesting articulations in this piece, um, like where they choose to have, like put staccato markings, especially in the first section in the lyrical, lyrical piece, there's one note that just kind of comes out of nowhere that's got a staccato marking on it. It's really easy to blow past that and um, just be like, well, it's all lyrical, you know, play it all. But then all of a sudden it's like, Dip. and then you keep going and it adds a nice little interest and, um, a tiny little shock, like, oh, that was different. <laughs>